everyone, this is Dr. Chuan. In this short video, I'm going to talk about a very, very important mineral. It's actually a trace mineral, and it's selenium. Why would you be deficient in selenium? Very simple. The standard American diet, gluten, sugar, processed foods, increased stress, increased cortisol, all what it does, it depletes our body of selenium, which is a phenomenal trace mineral because it's a powerful antioxidant. Also, the thing about selenium is involved in different enzymes. It's actually a cofactor enzymes, enzyme. It helps enzymes do other work. Also, it helps make glutathione. Glutathione, bar none, is the most powerful antioxidant that we have in our body. It's produced in the liver. I've done previous videos on it. We reduce our glutathione as we grow older. In addition, we, we hinder the glutathione production by the standard American diet, sugar, processed foods, alcohol, and prescription medications all reduce the levels of glutathione, which affect our body as a whole. We need glutathione for proper, for proper cell function. In addition, it protects our cells against oxidative damage. What's oxidative damage? Oxidative damage to the cell is when the cells work, it creates a byproduct. Much like when you start your car up in the garage and the garage is closed. What happens? You get a buildup of carbon monoxide in the garage. What happens if you have too much of a buildup of carbon monoxide in the garage and you're in the car? You're going to die. Why? Because it depletes your cells of oxygen. Very similar with, with oxidative stress. So when the cells work, they produce what's called free radicals. Free radical buildup in the system makes our system form, I'm sorry, perform and function slower and worse and we get sickness, illness, and disease. So selenium is a powerful antioxidant. Now again, in no particular order, I just put a generalized list of how selenium will benefit your body as a whole. One, it's anti-asthma and arthritis and in addition, muscular dystrophy. Yes, muscular dystrophy. How? Because due to the antioxidant effects of selenial enzymes, what are selenial enzymes? Selenial enzymes are enzymes that are selenium dependent, hence the cofactor enzyme. So it help makes other enzymes work. In addition, anti-cancer. Yes, anti-cancer because it, produce, it promotes cancer cell suicide. Also, it reduces the oxidative stress. When we have oxidative stress, remember, when we, the oxidative stress, the end result is free radical buildup. When we have free radical buildup in the body, it promotes uh, cancer growth. It helps stabilize our cell's DNA. Okay, it makes our cells a better, better cell as a whole. It's anti-aging. Why? Because it preserves the DNA integrity. Remember, every single cell that we have in our body it has a DNA, that's your genetic code. And what happens as we grow older, if that DNA loses its integrity, it loses the function of the cell, the integrity of the cell. So what happens to the cell? It doesn't work as well. It reduces the mitochondrial oxidative stress. It makes the energy of the cell, the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondria, which produces ATP, which is your cellular currency, it makes it produce it more, so then why? Because then now the cells can produce more collagen or can produce more, uh, lack of a better term, skin tissue. It improves fertility. Yes, for men, men, selenium will make your sperm better. Why? It's vital in sperm cell development and function. So what it does, hey, it makes the, it makes the man more, be, increase his ability to be, uh, to make his his significant other pregnant. Also, it boosts your immunity. Now, boosts your immunity because it stimulates the neutrophils, natural killer cells, B cells, T cells, macrophages. It helps boost the immune system because all this is the army. It's your acute phase, it's the chronic phase. It's the first responders, it's the antibody responders. Selenium is great for the immune response. It improves brain function because it protects the brain cells. Why? From, from the oxidative stress, which alleviates depression, anxiety, and cognitive decline. It makes your brain function better. Also do anti-heart disease and anti-diabetes because it reduces the inflammation. 
uh, cholesterol plaque buildup and the lipid peroxidation. Again, all this stuff creates inflammation in the arterial walls. It reduces homocysteine. Homocysteine along with C-reactive protein are two blood markers that are indicative of heart disease. It regulates the blood pressure. It helps make the cells more insulin sensitive. You need your cells to be more insulin sensitive to reduce the chances of insulin resistance and diabetes. Antiviral. Why? Because a deficiency, what happens when you are deficient in selenium, the RNA viruses, they multiply faster. Now with everything going on in the world, one of the ways that, is, that could protect yourself against any type of virus, because viruses cannot live in a zinc enriched environment, and selenium. Why? Again, because it stops that replication of the viruses. So what happens when you're selenium deficient? The disease progress goes faster and faster and faster because in order for the virus to take over the body, it has to multiply. Next, thyroid function. Thyroid function is very important because we need selenium for thyroid hormone conversion. We produce inactive T4 and then that gets converted to active T3 with the help of selenium. Also, too, it decreases thyroid peroxidase antibody. So, again, if you have autoimmune, like Hashimoto's, it's going to reduce that antibody reaction. In addition to, remember, it improves the immune system. So, how much selenium do you need in a day? Well, the RDA, the RDA requires 55 micrograms. Okay, now again, micrograms, that's really not a lot. And you get, you get a lot of selenium through Brazil nuts. And, and leafy green vegetables. I always recommend the therapeutic dose is 200 micrograms. Why? Because you're not always going to steady your selenium intake with the foods. Also, if you take a 200 micrograms of selenium per day, then anything else is, is going to be an added benefit. And by the way, it's very hard to become, uh, to overdose on selenium in your body because your body is definitely going to benefit from it. Okay? So I hope you liked the video. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And again, if you want, if you think you could, uh, I could help you out, please follow the link down below and book me for a 15-minute consultation. Enjoy the video. Thank you very much for watching.